This is Fox 26 Morning News Weekend. Hello everyone, I'm Rita Garcia. This morning on Asian Connection, what's the secret to acing a test in school? Find out from a local student who got a perfect score on his advanced placement exam. That's coming up next. Hello everybody, I'm Rita Garcia with Asian Connection. They say that nobody's perfect, but our guest this morning may have something to say about that. He was one of only 18 students in the world to achieve a perfect score on his advanced placement computer exam. Please welcome Paul Cruz, who is in the 11th grade at Harmony School of Advancement. Hi there, Paul. Hello, Ms. Garcia, how are you doing? Very nice to meet you, thank you. I'm sitting by a smarty pants here. <laughs> oh, thank um, you. Tell me about this advanced placement test. What's it all about? So the advanced placement tests are the culmination of year-long courses offered by the College Board. Um, they're typically taken in May of each school year, and um, receiving a higher score on these exams actually merits some college credits, depending on which university you go to. Okay, so going into this exam, how did you feel about it? Did you know that you were going to go in there just acing? Um, I had a lot of preparation due to my teachers, so I felt pretty confident about it. But um, at the same time, I was somewhat nervous because it is an AP exam and it actually is pretty important. Well, all those nerves obviously paid off. Tell us that score again. Uh, it was 80 out of 80. <laughs> wow, very cool. Uh, so you have any tips for other students who are uh, watching this and may say, I want to be just like him? Oh, well, um, I have three tips for students that are taking AP exams. My first okay. tip would be to listen to your teachers. Um, the lectures they provide are actually pretty important and they help you prepare pretty well for the exam. My second tip would be to buy study books for that AP exam. The study books have review materials and questions that you can use in order to practice or emulate the testing environment. And my third tip would be to start studying at the start of the year, not the end. Procrastination doesn't really help. That's what I was going to say is how long did you, would you say that you studied? Um, I spent a lot of studying in class and also at home. Um, I can't really count the number of hours. <laughs> you can't? No. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so when you found out that you got a perfect score, what was your reaction? Um, I was extremely happy. It actually happened, I came home from school one day and my dad sent me a letter. I thought it was my PSAT scores, but um, when I opened the letter, I was still pretty happy with what I received. They sent me a pretty detailed explanation of what happened. Now, how about your parents? I mean, what was their reaction? Um, I told both of my parents later on in the night and they were both extremely proud of me. They were proud? Did they, did they get you cake or I mean, what'd you do? Was there a celebration? Um, no, but they, they've consistently commented on it and they've given me a lot of support. And uh, since scoring this perfect score, you have credit to go to college. What school do you want to go to and what do you want to do? Um, I'm planning on applying to many schools, but I'm not sure what or where I'm going to get accepted. And um, I'm planning on definitely continuing to study computer science throughout college. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to make it a major or minor yet, but I'm planning on maybe majoring in chemical engineering and minoring in computer science. Wow, okay. Any idea where you want to work yet? Do you have like a major goal in mind or anything? Um, no, not so far. <laughs> not yet. Okay, all right. We'll let you be a, a teenager then. All <laughs> right, thank you so much for coming in and congratulations to you. That's a huge honor. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. All righty. Well, we will see you again next Saturday and Sunday with more Asian Connection on Fox 26 Morning News Weekend.